The royal family that runs Saudi Arabia is worth about $1.4 trillion, 16 times more than the British royal family. Most money for the ruling monarchy comes from oil reserves found 75 years ago. This has changed the country's fortune and made the House of Saud the wealthiest family in the world. In today's video, we'll take a look at the trillionaire lifestyle of King Salman, a well-known and ridiculously wealthy monarch. How is it to be the king of Saudi Arabia? What does he buy with his vast, never-ending wealth? Watch this video all the way through to find out the answer. Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud is the king of Saudi Arabia. He has been in power since 2015 and was formerly the prime minister of Saudi Arabia. He became the king on January 23, 2015. He was King Abdulaziz's 25th son and the country's founder. Before he became king, he was Saudi Arabia's crown prince from June 16, 2012 to January 23, 2015. Salman is the oldest monarch and the third oldest head of state still alive. Salman was interested in government from a young age. He watched his father and was always aware of how he looked. Along the way, he learned how to talk to many dignitaries and stay out of trouble. In 2007, he got his bachelor's degree in law from King Saud University in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. After that, he started several businesses and a non-profit group to encourage people to create businesses in the kingdom. In 2009, his father, who was governor of Riyadh at the time, made him an official advisor. Salman rose in rank and power until he became crown prince in 2012. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, whose net worth is estimated to be over 17 billion dollars or 13.8 billion euros, is not known for being subtle. King Salman went on a costly tour of Asia. He arrived in every country on his schedule, including China, on a golden escalator from his private plane. He didn't travel alone. When he landed in Indonesia, 620 staff members and 800 delegates joined him. The pomp and ceremony on display during the tour caught the attention of the world's media. In 2015, he and his group of 1,000 people shut down a beach on the French Riviera for three days. Salman's group put an elevator right on the beach by pouring concrete on the sand. The king's trip lived up to what people knew about him. Keep watching to see all the crazy things he bought with his money while on his Asian trip. 500 limousines. Limos were parked in front of a government tourism office in the high-end resort area of Nusa Dua, which King Salman of Saudi Arabia visited on March 2, 2017. On his trip, King Salman took two Mercedes-Benz S600 limos with him. What about the 500 limos? Don't worry. The Saudi king sent 500 limousines to Tokyo so that he and his group could get around in the city. 1,200 Hotel Rooms When King Salman was in Tokyo, it might have been hard for high-end travelers to find a room. It is said that the king booked 1,200 rooms at the best hotels in Tokyo for his staff and delegates. Two Escalators Made of Gold Saudi King Salman adjusts his headscarf as he steps out of his plane at Jakarta, Indonesia's Halim Perdana Kusuma Airport on March 1, 2017. You didn't hear wrong, two golden escalators to get out of his plane. Guess maybe one just isn't enough. A C-130 Hercules from Lockheed How do you get two golden escalators from one place to another? Of course, you take your military transport plane. The Hercules is made to carry tanks, artillery, and paratroopers over long distances. It can even fly with just one engine. But the Saudi king is said to use it to carry his nearly 500 tons of luggage, which includes limousines and escalators. 100 Bodyguards Saudi King Salman is the man in Indonesia who is the driest, as he has a lot of bodyguards to cover him with umbrellas. In King Salman's group of 1,500 people, there are 25 princes, 10 ministers, and more than 100 security staff. The total net worth of the group is in the multi-billions. 6. Boeing Passenger Jets A Boeing 747 carrying Saudi Arabia's King Salman lands at Jakarta, 
Indonesia's Halim Perdana Kusuma International Airport on March 1, 2017. Six Boeing passenger jets, including the King's gold-painted 747, were rented for the trip to carry the King's group of 1,500 people. 459 tons of luggage. The air freight company in charge of the King's vast luggage said that 63 tons of it were unloaded at Jakarta, and the rest went with him to Bali for his vacation. It's unclear what other luxury items King Salman had in his luggage besides escalators and limousines, but you can only fit so many Fabergé eggs in a suitcase. When King Salman took power on January 30th, 2015, he changed the cabinet. King Salman also gave a bonus of two months' salary to all Saudi state employees and military personnel, including retirees and students. He asked for people not to forget him in their prayers. This shows he knows the importance of prayers. King Salman was often the go-between when there were disagreements between the 4,000 or so princes in the al Saud family. He was a well-known member of the royal council, which gave him the power to choose which princes would be in charge of which parts of the kingdom. King Salman and his family own a group of media outlets, such as the Pan-Arab daily Ashark al al and al Aktisadaya. He is often called the owner of the Saudi Research and Marketing Group, SRMG, even though he only owns 10% of it. Similarly, it is said that Salman has strong relationships with influential journalists. We have come to the end of today's video. What do you think about King Salman's lifestyle? And many of the things happening in Saudi Arabia? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.